Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to schedule a video post using Facebook Creator Studio. So in my previous video I showed you how to bulk upload. So if we open up my web browser you will see that we've completed three video uploads here. So this is what we used in the previous video I showed you how to upload multiple videos at the same time. Now that these videos have been uploaded I can go to the content library and then I can go to drafts and inside the drafts here let's just refresh the page. Inside the drafts here, we can see the three new videos that were uploaded using the bulk tool, the bulk upload. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to schedule a video. So we're going to click on this add title text tutorial. So we'll go here, click on the three dots and click edit post. And I've already prepared some content for this particular video. So normally I prepare everything in advance. So I've got a thumbnail and I've got some text to go with this video. So let's just minimize this and we'll open up this window here. And the first thing I'll do is just copy and paste in the title. So sometimes I adjust the title when I'm writing the text. We'll copy and paste in this text here. This is all being prepared in advance. And then normally what I do is click on the thumbnail here. So you can choose a thumbnail from these ones that are listed here. So it will take snapshots of your video content and generate these thumbnails. But I prefer to upload a custom one. So here's custom image. I'll click add image and then in here, I've already made this thumbnail. We'll just quickly look at that. Let's just open it. Now you'll just see it's just Magic's Movie Edit Pro Premium 2019, how to add these text titles tutorial. So we will select that thumbnail and then we'll click open. And now you can see the thumbnail here. Normally what I do is go back to the video details and I add it to a playlist. So you can create playlists here. So these are all the different playlists that I have. You can create a new playlist by clicking on here, but I already have one for this subject area. So let's just find out that should be in here somewhere. Let's have a little look. Uh, here it is, Magic's Movie Edit Pro Tutorials. So I'll click that. Now this video will get added to that particular playlist. And normally in here, I'll add a few keywords. So we can take something like Movie Edit Pro 2019. And normally I'll use the word tutorial and video editing. And this one happens to be about text titles, right? So we'll add that as a keyword as well. And you can add many keywords in here. Normally I add a few more than this, but I'm just going to show you basically how I add them. Then in here it says draft because this is saved in the drafts at present. So we'll click on drafts and we'll click on schedule publication. And as default is going to give today's date. So today is the 29th for the 3rd and it's 3.50. So you can see 29th for the 3rd and it will normally schedule it like 10 minutes away from the current time, 10 or 11 minutes away. So I want this to go live at 4 15 for example today or 405 let's say and then I'll just click OK so when I click OK um, I'll click save here now that video has been scheduled but it will still show in here in the drafts if you refresh the page it will remove it from the drafts here so you no longer see that video there's three of them here now there's only two the two that I've, that we uploaded before in the bulk upload but if i go to the schedules here scheduled you'll see that it's been scheduled in here right at the top so it's the, it's the next one to go basically um this one i don't really need so i'm just going to delete it let's just delete that so this will be next in the schedule to go live and then this one this one and this one you can see today there's one for today there's one for tomorrow there's another one for tomorrow and there's one for Sunday. So I'm scheduling videos well in advance and I've uploaded loads of videos. Here you can see all the videos that I've uploaded. So normally I just go and drag and drop maybe 10 or 15 videos and just let them upload in the background while I'm working. And then I can go and schedule them after from here. So that's how you do the content scheduling for video content using the Creator Studio in Facebook. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.